Dopamine was initially thought to be just the building block for epinephrine, and it is indeed the chemical building block from which epinephrine is made. However, dopamine does a lot of things on its own. It's not always converted to epinephrine. Dopamine is released from several sites in the brain and body, but perhaps the most important one for today's discussion about motivation and reward is something that's sometimes just called the reward pathway. For the aficionados, it's sometimes called the mesolimbic reward pathway, but it's fundamentally important to your desire to engage in action, and it's fundamentally important for people getting addicted to substances or behaviors. So how does this work? Well, you've got a structure in the deep part of your brain called the VTA. It stands for ventral tegmental area. As always, you don't have to remember these names, but if you want to, I offer them to you for further Googling, research, reading, etc. The VTA or ventral tegmental area contains neurons that send what we call axons, little wires that spit out dopamine at a different structure called the nucleus accumbens. And those two structures, VTA and nucleus accumbens, form really the core machinery of the reward pathway and the pathway that controls your motivation for anything. You can think of them like an accelerator. They bias you for action. 